You're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. Hey, this is Owen. If you're comfortable, leave your first name and state at the sound of the tiny truck backing up. My name is Kaylin, and I'm from Louisiana. I wanted to know what you thought about the whole hoarding situation. I work at Dollar Tree, so I have to... So I'm, like, working during this entire thing. I'm just wondering, why do people insist and say, oh, if it's your, your time, your time, God will be watching over you and stuff. And then that also, like, gets into the, how um, people are saying, oh, God will be stretching out his hands to everyone and God will be with you during this entire thing. Yet here I am asking to myself, what kind of God would let this happen? Just like with other things. I, I just wanted to know what you thought about the whole hoarding, the whole... People saying, I just rely on God and trust in God to get you through. And I really don't see how that really would help, I guess, rationally. But anyway, thanks for listening. Bye. Interesting you bring this up. Earlier, I saw a tweet from Ken Ham. And in fact, let me actually just pull this up because it's very relevant to what was being said. This is Ken Ham's Twitter. Let me read this tweet that he just put out, like, on April 5th, he put this out. This is a quote from the Bible. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all those things. Isaiah 45, 7. Certainly God is in total control of everything in this universe, and he has allowed this coronavirus situation for his purposes. I do believe it's a warning to a nation that puts to death nearly one million children per year, has told God he's not welcome in schools, rejects nativity scenes and crosses in public places, and has allowed the religion of atheism to be imposed. Okay, now there's more to this tweet thread. Let's just address that. First of all, this whole bit about putting to death nearly one million children per year. I refuse to accept the notion that 150 cells, a blastocyst, an embryo, or anything up to like 10 weeks is a child or a human in any sense. It's complete BS what he's saying here about nearly one million children per year be being put to death. It's complete misrepresentation of the situation. Uh, the next thing he says here, has told God he's not welcome in schools. God is welcome in schools. Nobody ever said children couldn't pray. They are more than welcome to pray to their heart's content. Schools, and more specifically, administration, is not allowed to impose their religious beliefs on the students. If the school was run by Muslim teachers or a Muslim principal... I'd be willing to bet you'd be on our side with this. The next thing he said was, rejects nativity scenes and crosses in public places. Yeah, because I don't want my tax dollars sponsoring your religion. That's my issue with it. And allows the religion of atheism to be imposed. I don't even know what that means. The religion of atheism. What is the religion of atheism? It's a warning to a nation with a lot of churches, but majority of which are lukewarm and compromise God's word in Genesis with man's pagan religion of evolution in millions of years. Oh my God, I really don't know where to start with this. It's a warning to a nation that is at war against the family and promotes sexual perversion through drag queens, LGBT movement, etc. It's a warning to a nation that is at war against children as they permeate their minds with wickedness through education and media. It's a warning to a nation that views the elderly and infirmed as needing to be eliminated. Okay, now, give me a second here. So, this relates to Kalen's question. God creates a virus that attacks largely older people, predominantly, as a warning to people for believing that older people should be eliminated. Let me just step through this logic, okay? According to Ken Ham, people think that older people, the elderly people should be eliminated. So God creates a virus that eliminates older people. I don't really understand. Like, this, this is co so completely nonsensical. The non sequiturs in this abound. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. And what kind of a monster god does this guy worship that would do something like this? There are ways to communicate that he doesn't like these things way better than killing millions and millions of people. He could just, if God was real, just 
instantly tell us in our minds, you know, guys, I'm real. This is the true religion. These are the facts. There's no more doubt. There's no more question. You all know now. Why doesn't he do that? Why does he want to send a virus to kill millions of people? Like, there's, there's no sense behind what Ken Ham is saying here. It's just full of propaganda, and it, and it shows his worldview and his perspective and how warped and twisted around it is. It's, it's extremely fascinating and at the same time extremely disappointing. And to get back to Kaylin's question, let me just listen to the last portion of it again. What kind of God would let this happen? What kind of God would let this happen? A monster. That's the kind of God that would let this happen. And what you're asking about is something called the impotence versus evil problem. If God is all-powerful, as Christians claim, then he is evil for, for allowing the suffering that he does. This impotence versus evil problem has been around for a very, very long time in philosophy circles, and there really is no good answer to it. Either God's not all-powerful, or he's not all-good. That's the saying. Either he can solve problems and chooses not to, or he can't solve the problems. Bottom line, I mean, you know how, how many people per year die of starvation in the world? Nine million, roughly. Nine million people in the world die every single year from hunger. Why doesn't God fix that? It's not that we don't have the food. It's a distribution problem, largely. We have the food on this earth. We could feed everybody. We have enough food to feed everybody. It's just we can't distribute it to everybody. There are buildings packed full of canned goods that are expiring today because they just couldn't get them to the places they need to be. 